Mr. Quad. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so I did a video like this a while back, um, a video just on settings, tips and tricks, the best sniping class setups and everything like that. And I did that back in season two. So I wanted to go ahead and make an updated video because I have changed some of my settings since then. And I know a lot of people have been asking about my settings, man. Literally like almost every stream, someone asked what my sensitivity is, my settings, my class setups. It's just crazy, man. So I'm going to go through all of that in this video. I'm also probably going to keep this video as my channel trailer for a while. Just so that way people, when they click my channel, they can see this video and just <laughs> instantly have my settings and everything but anyway enough rambling um let's just go ahead and get into it so i'm gonna start off with the class setups that i have right now so moving over to the first class setup i'm rocking double tundra now all of the perks and everything else down here are basically the same on every single class setup so um you can just copy this right here so on my first tundra i'm rocking the tiger team barrel on the body i'm rocking the tiger team spotlight on the magazine i'm rocking the seven round mag on the handle i'm rocking the serpent wrap and on the stock i'm rocking the marathon pad and on the second tundra it is basically the exact same attachments but instead of the tire team spotlight i'm rocking the steady aim laser moving over to the next class i'm rocking a double pellington class now um it's literally the exact same attachments all right all the uh, perks and everything that's down here are the same and the attachments are exactly the same we're rocking tiger team barrel tiger team spotlight seven round mag serpent wrap and marathon pad and on the second one i'm rocking tiger team barrel laser seven round serpent and marathon pad same exact thing as the tundra class moving to my next class setup i'm rocking the swiss and tundra i use this class setup so much okay this class up is like my go-to right now on my swiss i'm rocking the tiger team barrel tiger team spotlight eight round mag serpent wrap no stock it's basically the exact same attachments as all the other classes okay the attachments literally don't change at all on every single sniper they're exactly the same and of course all the perks and everything are exactly the same so moving over to my search and destroy class setup now this class setup depends on what video i'm making that day so for example, I could be making a video on the Tundra and then I'll change this to a Tundra. I'm currently working on a video on the Pellington, uh, so I have the Pellington right now. But um, all the attachments will be exactly the same for every sniper. So you can basically copy these attachments for the Tundra, the Barrett, um, every single sniper, except for the ZRG. The ZRG, uh, it does have a diff bit different attachments, but really who cares about the ZRG too. But anyway, on the muzzle, I'm rocking the stabilizer. On the barrel, I'm rocking the Tiger Team barrel. On the body, I'm rocking the Tiger Team spotlight. On the under barrel, I'm rocking the infiltrator grip on the magazine i'm rocking the seven round mag on the handle the serpent wrap and on the stock i'm rocking the marathon pad and like i said if you wanted to put these attachments on the tundra you could do that it would be the exact same class setup for the tundra and it's basically these attachments on every single sniper for search and yeah that is basically it i'm rocking a melee so that way i can swap over and run faster you can rock a pistol if you want to though and um yeah you can pause the video and copy everything else down here and those are basically the class setups now i'm gonna go ahead and get into these settings okay this is gonna be like the most important thing in the video so I'm going to be going through like all of the important things in the setting. There's a lot of things in here that I haven't really changed. Uh, so I'm really just going to be going through the things that really matter. So first things first, if you have a 144 or 240 hertz monitor, change the refresh rate to the highest it can possibly go. This is very, very important. So scrolling on down um, to my field of view. I know a lot of people are curious about this. I actually rock 105 field of view. I used to rock 99, but I did bump it up a little bit just because it looks a lot better in videos and it, looks, it helps me a lot more in search and destroy especially. The reason I don't boost my FOV all the way up is because it gets a lot harder to center the higher you go. Because the higher the field of view goes the farther away enemies look from you which is um it's really hard to center shots when they look that far so on my ads field of view i actually have this on independent you can put it on affected if you want to this is kind of just personal preference there's a lot of settings in here that are personal preference so coming on down this is very important okay you're going to want to put the frame rate limit on unlimited all right just put this on unlimited uh it'll make it to where your fps can go as high as it can possibly go i see a lot of people capping their frame rate at like 250 or something you can do that if you want to but I just have mine on unlimited just so that way I can get the max frames I can possibly get. So scrolling on down, this is probably the most important thing in the graphics tab. I basically have every single setting on low um, in my graphics. Everything is on low or disabled, all right? Low, 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 disabled, disabled, everything is off. And this is just because I like to get as much frame rate as I can because of course, the higher the frame rate, the smoother your game runs the easier it is to get nice gameplay. But anyway, scroll on down. Um, yeah, everything else is on low and disabled, like I said. And this right here, okay? 
this setting is literally a lifesaver okay this nvidia dlss so you will not have this setting if you don't have an rtx card i have an rtx 2060 super you're gonna want to have this on balanced okay so what this setting basically does is is if there's something in your peripherals that you're not really looking at it'll lower the image quality of the thing that you're not looking at so that way you get higher frame rate and it's just really really helpful man for frames um you're definitely gonna want this on if you have the option so moving over to my sensitivity now this is um a big thing that a lot of people ask me about so if you guys don't know i actually play on keyboard and mouse a lot of people actually don't even know i play on keyboard and mouse a lot of people think i play on controller which is kind of crazy actually. so for my mouse sensitivity i'm on 8.6 in game and my mouse is 800 dpi 8.6 is kind of just a perfect middle ground for me nine is a bit too high and eight is a bit too low so i kind of found a place in the middle that fits me well now my ads sensitivity transition timing i have this on gradual can do instant if you want to it's completely up to you this is another one of those things that's kind of like a personal preference so scrolling on down um this is like actually very important so i actually have my ads mouse sensitivity mode on legacy you can put this to relative if you want to this is completely up to you i just think legacy feels better i don't know why but legacy just feels better for me and i don't know why but relative feels like it has very very slight mouse acceleration for me for for whatever reason i don't know why it just feels like that I rocked legacy and it's um yeah i haven't changed it since this game came out so moving over to the interface tab all right this is um this has been a lifesaver for me all right this tab right here so you're gonna want to go to this hud bounds thing and you want to click this okay what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put the hud bounds as far in as they can possibly go okay and i'm gonna tell you why so what this does is is it basically makes it to where the mini map is here in game um, so my mini map would be here my ammo and stuff would be down here and what this does is is it makes it to where you don't have to move your eyes as much when looking at the mini map because if the mini map was all the way up here i would have to look all the way in the top left and then look back down but when it's right here, uh, you really don't have to move your eyes that much to see where people are. When you first change this, it will be a bit weird to get used to. But when you get used to it, it should be fine. But yeah, dude, this is, um, I'm really glad I have this on, bro. Because it actually, it's actually helped me a lot with looking at the minimap. I don't have to move my eyes as much. My eyes don't hurt that much. And especially playing this game every day for like eight hours um you definitely don't want to be looking around your freaking monitor that much i'll tell you that also i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the colorblind modes that i have on not a lot of people know about this but you can actually change the uh color of like enemies and allies and party members and everything and it's really cool you can just pause the video and copy everything else on here it's completely up to you but you also can change these to whatever you want so basically you can have the enemy purple and it'll change the enemies to purple but keep in mind though this does also change the color of the name tags of the enemies so uh just keep that in mind when you change this. I also kind of want to tell you guys what game modes that I usually play and um, what I find most fun in this game right now. So the most fun game modes for me right now are snipers only, face off, and of course, search and destroy. A lot of people play 12v12. Uh, I don't know why, but I just cannot get in a groove in 12v12, man. I can never can. I don't know why. If I played reg 6v6, I could get in a groove, but I don't know what it is. But 12v12, it just seems like there's way too many people on the map and way too much stuff going on at once, man. And it just, I just can't, I just can't do anything in that game. Mode. But yeah, man, for the most part, it's just snipers only, face off and a search and destroy those are the three main game modes that i really only play but anyway that's basically it for this video i just wanted to go through my settings uh, one last time before vanguard i also upload cold war sniping videos literally every single day so um you're definitely missing out if you're not subscribed i'm also live on twitch every single day as well and all the clips and all of my videos are basically hit live on stream so you can definitely stop by my stream anytime um yeah i'll see you guys later man peace out